it's really, really obvious that if you can embed these tools directly at the point of work, that is a huge unlock. Now, however, on Saturday, I went in gleefully trying to continue that work and the whole thing didn't work. Like, it's like somebody had dialed down the efficacy -o meter at Google and was like, all right, we gave you some good results for a day just to tease you, but we've made it dumb again. So, mm, that's yes, so it, weird. That I is know. So, so weird. Like, you had some sort of model regression in real time with the same workflow. With the same workflow, and all of a sudden it was completely broken. It wouldn't do anything for me, which I found extremely frustrating because then all of the work that I had avoided on Friday night, I had to create on Saturday to no. get get what I needed to get done. Yeah, so, but it was a little glimmer of the future, right? We always say things like, this is the worst it's ever going to be. Well, it can actually regress and get worse, but in general- It can get worse again, and then better, and then worse. It can get worse again. But in general, I got a little glimmer of, of why everyone is so excited about that. And one is the model is just better. It retained so much more information. It retrieved it really fast. It was nuanced. The writing style was really solid. And it was highly, highly contextualized with the document that I was working Nappy in. Snappy for a thinking model too, right? Snap, yeah, snappy, yeah. super quick, right? There was no like yeah. waiting around. It's possible that in another tab, I actually still have a GPT thinking prompt going because I was I was looking into something that we might talk about and it's just like, it's taken like 20 minutes. You can go make lunch, come back. Yeah, I mean, how easily we get frustrated with our access to super right. in human intelligence that's like at a click, right. but but it's it's the point of access right <laughs>